Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very fine. My name is Gisela and today I'm going to show you with Pink Mask the must of products that you need to basically put together your own kit for nail art. So let me start by showing you the gel paint, which is an essential product since, as you can see, it has an ultra pigmented consistency and it is just perfect for everything that you need to do regarding designs. It is very easy to handle, so that makes it ideal for you to generate precise strokes comes in a lot a lot of different colors so we can create an infinite number of designs. We're going to move on to the brushes and in this case I'm going to show you the 00 liner, sorry the 002 liner and this one in particular is my favorite and as you can see it is ultra fine and the length is intermediate so this makes it perfect for short fine outlines. And you can also use it to make small designs. So here I am just showing you a very, very basic design with gel paint for you to see how pigmented this product is. Another great example for which you can use this brush is to basically touch up the sides or if you want to just neaten the entire cuticle area once you're done with the gel polish design, you can also use it. And finally, as I just told you, it allows you to touch up those small details since we want to be very precise. And in this case, when you pick up a design with stamping and just a tiny little dot remains, you can just touch it up very, very easily and quickly with this brush and you can do it directly on the stamp which is great so now we are going to move to another of my favorite things that I think that you need which is a dotting tool and the dotting tool is just a metal tool with a shaped finish ball and it is great to make those tiny little circles and those details as I am about to show you so you can use it for hearts, you can use it for flowers, for a lot of different designs. Plus another option that you can use is to just make reverse stamping. That is basically creating the design on the stamp. And this is the perfect tool that allows you to just be creative and make it easy. This last brush that I'm going to show you today is the Mini Oval 05. I super super duper love it because it literally adapts to a lot of things. So here I am showing you with a basic cloud design how I like to use it. And in this case what I did is I grabbed a droplet of white gel paint and I'm going to slide it gently like this. And I'm using tiny taps slowly to basically create the ombre effect towards the tip of the cloud. You can also use it for countless other designs, but I feel that this is a perfect example. It also serves to make just vertical ombre or to make a stroke, to touch up something, to make French nails and a lot of other things. There are other ways to use it which are not related to nail art and I think it is important to mention them so you can use it for instance if while just painting your nails with gel color you stain one of the sides or the cuticle area it is great to correct with this brush and you can do it with a lot of ease now let's move on to stamping and this is a form of nail art which is fast and looks amazing and there are a lot of designs that you can choose from because we have several stamping plates and for this you will basically need stamping polishes, a stamp which can be either the jelly or the jumbo and last but not least the must have the stamping plates. To make a design you have to put a droplet of stamping polish into the stamping plate and then you will have to remove the excess with a scraper and smoothly in a pendular way you have to lift the design with the stamper. And since we are talking about it, it is a very basic product that you also need which is the nail mask and it is great since it prevents your fingers from getting stained. It is super super easy to apply and to remove and it is very convenient and will save you a ton of time. To use it, just place the mask around the entire nail, we wait a few minutes for it to dry and then we can just apply our stamping design. You will see that a big part of the design remains on the nail, while some remainings are on the mask, but right at the point where they join, 
there is just sometimes a little bit of product left so you can just pass the mini oval brush over it and then remove that and then after that with some tweezers you can just remove the mask and as you can see the design looks perfect so this was everything for today my friends i really hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave us some comments and some other ideas that you would like to see and don't forget that you can get all of these products and much more things on our website we will have all of the links down below have a great day and i'll see you next time bye bye